right, folks, I'm back for more torture. <clears throat> Day two, here's what we've got. See, the nose was digging in. We was also having trouble with the, that plate is actually sticking straight down in the ground. And there's brick and block and everything piled in here. This is all foundation material. Uh, even as far back as here, it's all block. And so, plan to jack this front of it up. I'm going to go ahead and get the saws off and try to, once I get it up, cut off that piece and maybe cut it at an angle or something. And so we can always weld it back on, grind it, but it's just steel. And, uh, that will allow us to be able to uh, to pull this thing, but we're also going to cut some uh, some pieces of log to lay up under it, so that's going to make a difference too. So I made a piece that slides in the flue, and I can take the bottle jack and jack up. So that's not next because it's going to be probably an hour and a half, two hours before I get to even start winching. I would say because I got to take my hydraulic motor apart on my winch. Uh, someone before I'd got it, now I could blame it on myself, but I didn't do it. So they had over tightened uh, the line and cracked the, the head of the of the pump, and this thing was seeping from the start. Well, of course I uh, welded it, and you know if you don't do something right, you can't expect good results. So I didn't get good results. I welded it and it didn't help a bit. So we've got a seep and a leak and I don't know if it's on the side winch pulling in or side winch pulling out. So we're losing pressure. So what I've done, it's a commercial sharing pump. I've got a new back here or a used back that has boss fittings instead of pipe thread. So we're going to get this thing up and we're going to go ahead and change out the end of the pump, get the hoses hooked back up. And that'll be finished, and then we're going to move on to jacking up the boiler and get that to where we can start winching on it. So I think she'll work out just fine. So let's get at it. All right, folks. Cutter fixed. Seems to be working really well. No leak. No problem. All right. We're going to move on to the next thing. All right, and here's the next thing. So what we got to do is raise this thing up. Got my jack. I didn't bring the 50 ton down here because I don't think I need it, but this is what I made. And this is not a <laughs> very pretty thing. I didn't grind it a bit. I didn't grind anything, so I was in a hurry. So this is uh, my Boiler Lifter 2000. Goes in, picks up, and it's almost level. So that's going to work out really well, but we can put it in whatever hole we need to put it in to get the lift we need to get. Uh, all I had to measure with when I done this was my cell phone. I just took my cell phone and stuck it in there. And then, of course, I didn't have pipe big enough, so I added that to it to get it leveled out. So, that should be about level where we're at. So, should pick up. And uh, also, I didn't want to pick up, like if you used to build it, and you pick up down here, it would try to spin. So, if you get over center, center being the center of the hole, then uh, it's going to pretty much stay where you put it. So we've got it where we need it, and now we're going to start jacking it up, and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how this works out. And I've got plenty of block and brick and stuff here. So and once that's done, we're going to try to we're going to try to get it enough to where I can do something, roll it over or something, and try to get uh, try to get that piece cut off. So we're going to see how this works out. All right. Okay, folks. Our boiler lifter 2000. Uh, worked flawlessly. It'll be on sale uh, February 31st, 2021. So there's what we've got. And it's lifting fine. Plenty hard parts blocking, so we're going to clean out where we can block some under it, and then we'll regroup and hit it again and just keep going up. We've brought it up a pretty good ways already. We're going to try to get where we can get regrouped and start winching in a few minutes. All right. Okay, folks. Uh, here's the piece I was talking about. You can see all this foundation, and then you can see this piece is in the ground, and it's down another 
probably another foot from where I've cut it right there. I really didn't want to cut it, but I don't feel that I've got much of a choice right now because of the situation we're in. So we can weld it back on and grind it, whatever we got to do when we get ready. I mean, there's enough damage on the boiler anyway. It's not going to do much to add to it. So, uh, all right, that's what we're doing. That's what we're getting at now. Uh, now, as for damage on the, the heavy part of the boiler, there's not any because it's so heavy that the dozer didn't hurt it and the tree falling on it didn't even dent it, I suppose. Uh, it's pretty corroded in there. This was facing down. So. Anyway, let's get her, uh, keep on moving here. Alright folks, we're getting ready to winch. We'll see what happens. I've got the front up, got it down on a bar, and hopefully everything's gonna work out. Whew, more out. Okay. Whenever you're ready, darling. but it's moving okay we've reset we pull this time we should get about 25 feet 20 feet let's see what happens well we got a pull shot tightens up on it And when it passes the concrete, which it already did, it roll this way and not hit that tree. But oh, hmm, I what that was. Never do. Don't move. I got my wife winching because I've come to the conclusion that's, that's the absolute safest place to be. It's not safe to be down here on the ground anywhere. And I got a feeling that that would protect her if there was any problem. So, all right, let me see how bad we're going to get this tree right here. Okay, folks, we got cut it a good ways. We was able to get it past the tree. I chained over to the other side and then uh, let it pull it this way. So now I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm probably going to go a little bit farther like this, and then I'll bring the chain back to this side. So we're moving right along. And you were. My wife ran to the car to get a cool drink so this is where we're at and this is where we was down over this hill 
Now I know, you know, 2D, you can't tell nothing, but this is a hill. <laughs> There's a bottom. It's wet down there. It ain't wet up here. So, and like I said, there was one of the blocks. Looks like we cut the corner of the block and popped it a little bit, but we didn't hurt the boiler because it's uh, thick and heavy. Uh, there's definitely no issues with the with the thickness of this it's so thick that the tree fell on it the dozer pushed it and that concrete it just ripped the concrete to pieces so we know what's stronger so here's our pipe we had up under it and this was actually a pipe we found here so it came off right there I think is our worst part because of all the crap and debris and bent eye beam and and everything else that was in here so and uh so we're, we're doing really good right now uh i did find two hammerhead worms which, which i killed them but uh i'll show you i didn't get any on video but i did get a picture on my cell phone and i'll show you a picture of that now yeah that concrete block over there is actually a lot bigger than this concrete so i don't know what I don't know what that was. I seen that on satellite, but I couldn't see it down here because of the tree being on it. So, but no, that tree actually fell on the boiler, that big tree right here, and as you can see, and it didn't even bend it. So, so we're good. We've uh, we moved it all this time, two days. I guess we've got it. I don't know. We'll be honest. Thirty feet, maybe forty feet. Yeah, probably forty feet. So. I don't know, you know, it is, it is what it is. Okay, so now we're fully reset for about another 20 foot pole. And that's about all we can do at once, having a four part line. Well, five part line now, I guess. But, uh, you know, we're, I don't want to take chances on anything. If it seems like it's pulling way too hard, then, you know, I, I just went up more with the, with the cables. That way I wouldn't have to worry about it tearing something up and straining something. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to move the one cable snatch block over back over to that side in a few minutes all right we'll see what we can get done Okay, folks, we were pulling. I didn't notice that this cable here I had up high and she started digging in a little bit. So now we've redirected our cable down here, but our dead man behind us is not holding up. Uh, it's actually a uh, pine tree and it's wanting to pull over and we don't want to do that. So we're going to go beyond it and hook to a big tree that's beyond it. So we're going to keep at it. We're not done tonight, but. We're just having little issues, so there it is. There's my where's where all the damage was, but and then uh, I'll show you how far we've moved it here. So pretty tired and a long day. So anyway, originally under that tree, brought it up to. All this mess and as you can see up through here and we got it around this tree and through all these vines and there's where we're at so we're we're getting there 
And uh, just so everybody knows, I'm going to say it one more time because uh, I know some people watch part of the videos and not the others or they skip through. We have no intentions to ever fire this, to ever put air pressure on it, anything like that. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. You know, this is totally for saving for the fact that it was the boiler that went with this engine and that's what they ran that engine off of. Alright folks, it's coming on. Possibly be our last pull. I think we can get the roll back in from here. So we probably won't haul it tonight. I'll probably get the skip steer out of here and then come back and haul this in the morning. All right, folks, we're going to try to get the rollback bed a little bit beside it and roll it onto the bed, roll it onto the back of the bed, and then we can pull it up on. We're going to see if this is going to work. We're just going back to these little limbs and trees and stuff. Probably come down here and back over this stuff. All right, let's see what happens. I think you can roll it right over. Snatch block in there. Hook in there. You the man. Hey, I got you, bud. All right. Let's see if we can do this. See what we can do with it now. It's been a long, hard road here, boy. For sure. See if I can even roll it. Hey, this thing, this thing just, yeah. 
Sides and see if we can pull it. Godly heavy. We're getting it though. Got to get it forward about five feet. We got it blocked where it won't roll and all that good stuff. So we'll start getting that and get it chained down. And be good to go. So uh, tell you more here shortly. It almost looks like we made a damn road through here, but I don't know how far. It was that we had to end up quenching this thing, but it was a good way. And we tried to cut as much as we could, but if we had to cut everything out that we needed to cut, we'd have been here for days, so we just went ahead and took a sawzall with a wood cutting blade on it and cut it. I still got to get my pulley out of here. And we've about got it. Just about have it so we can take it home tonight. What you think, daughter? You did all the winching. You did all the real work. I was just here to hook the chains up for you. I was going to take the skidster home first, come back for the boiler. I'm glad I didn't because we needed the skidster to get the boiler on there right. And thank goodness my son told me I needed to keep it here in case I got stuck, which was a good idea, but... I'd like to find the rest of the boiler door, but I think we're going to be asking for more than we're going to get. How do you feel? Tired and weak, and sometimes that's the best feeling in the world. Well, that looks like a heck of a cost pushment right there. That's a uh, 
I'm gonna build a train. You gonna build a train? I'm on my way home, build a train. Cool, sounds good. Right. Choo choo. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, folks, it's home. All 11,000 pounds of it. Uh, you can tell it's 11,000 pounds, too, so we got her. Uh, the boiler itself is 16 foot long, and then with the piece on it, it was about, on the firebox on the back, it was about 18, but uh, I thought it was 20, but I didn't, I didn't even measure it, so I didn't think much about it, but, so uh, 44 flu, flu boiler, 16 foot long, is 11,000 pounds, so. That's what it is, and uh, you can definitely tell it. So I love my airbags down. Uh, I didn't want it sitting on the suspension, and we're going to call it a night because I am tired, and uh, we worked hard. So I'm proud of my wife. My son come help me after he got off work, and I didn't think we was even going to get it home today, but it's here. So I unload this thing in the morning, and I got to run. I got my skid steer hid in the woods and go back and get it and the pulley and the door, what's left of the door, the cast iron pieces, and uh, we're out of there. So I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we're going to get this thing set up somewhere, and then uh, we will we'll, uh, eventually, you know, we're not going to try to set it up to run or anything, but we'll eventually repaint this uh, back black and just to preserve it, and people can look at it and see what, uh, you know, what it is and what they're made out of. All right, and I hope if nothing else maybe somebody learned something because this is a homemade rollback that was a homemade winch box on my uh, skid steer so it goes back to what I've tried to tell people before just because you uh, don't have access to expensive tools or you know high dollar trucks uh, it's all about whether you want it or not so I wanted to get this boiler out and I got the boiler out so I won this round all right, appreciate everybody watching, and until next time, bye.